What's going on today, La Familia? We back in this thing with another one. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, turn post notifications on all, and share the video. That way you can help the channel grow. We got to grow the game. Now we got this man, Boss Top. Y'all already know from the O. And we also got that man, Jay Hood. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he does the uh, Came From Nothing podcast. I most definitely rock with his channel, man. He tell a lot of truth and give all the praise to the most high. Now, he does come from O Block, so that's where he rooted at, man. And he know a lot of these dudes personally. Now, today, he called Dirk and that man Boss Top out. You know what I'm saying? Told him he wanted to box it up, mix it up, you know, throw the fisty cups and whatnot. And uh, Boss Top pretty much responded and sneak dissed him on a live. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all really got to pay attention to that. But first, we going to see what Jay Hood had to say. And uh, pretty much, man, uh, break it down from there. Please, y'all fans, y'all can make it happen. I want to do a boxing, him or top or both. They soak like, like. Let's put the we putting the we putting the guns down. We gonna put some gloves up. Dirk, Dirk and top. Gotta respect this man, man. You know what I'm saying? Put the guns down. Put the gloves up, man. Y'all press y'all favorite rappers, man, to go and do that, man. You know they know this, man. Go ahead and mix it up with him. Get down with him. He wanna fade. Fade that man. You know what I'm saying? Dirk and Top, y'all fans. I bet you neither one of them. They, I'm, I, I'm only saying this because they get in their tweets and they make it seem as though they so gangster. But gangster shouldn't be what you could do with a weapon. It should be what you could do with your hands. For real though, how you gonna call yourself living like that and be thorough and you ain't even ready to scrap it out? So I urge y'all, eh, and then tell his 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 promoter them, train them up. Do all y'all little rituals, get them, get them demons up in you so you can have, like, so they can come out and fight for you. Something. Go get something. I'm hey, man, this man ain't lying. They be living sick, for real. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Them people be having some skeletons in their closet and do a lot of dark stuff behind that camera. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about right now, but go watch Jake Paul video where he was about to get ready to fight and he was doing all them little something of the, you know, it, it get deep with these people who won't, who not won't fame, but they are famous. That are public figures and rappers, it get deep. The rabbit hole get real deep. Yeah, they follow the teachings of Alistair Crowley, man. Y'all go read up on Alistair Crowley if y'all don't know who that is. But again, what train you niggas on a box? Huh? You niggas so tough, man. And hey, look, don't get me. I'm not inside no riot, man. We gonna put on some gloves. We could do it without the glove. We could do the UFC gloves and shake up like men after this. That man said, I'm with whatever you wear, however you want to get it. Let's just scrap it out. I just want to fade. I don't even really want to shake y'all hands, but y'all so tough. Y'all obligate to show these fans that toughness ain't, 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 ain't what you could do with, with this. So boss top or, or dirt, what's, what's up? I felt that one. That's facts. You're obligated. You're obligated with a, as a person with that big of a fan base who built their brand off of being a real street dude, saying y'all voices of the streets, you're obligated to show the people what's real. And what's real, as a man, you have to be able to stand toe to toe with another man from the shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Catch that fade. Any one of y'all, top, you watch my videos, you always sneak dissing on Twitter. Dirk, I know you used to be sneak dissing to Goofy Man. Hey, he just called that man a hey, Goofy Man, hey, but no, nah, Boss Top do be sneak dissing though. Can't even lie, man. He dropped one today, so let's see what he had to say. Y'all really got to listen, man, because he sent the shiggy through the music. It was subtle. It was sneaky. And if you wasn't paying attention, you wouldn't have caught it, man. So really, really, really pay attention before y'all try to scorn me in the comment section saying clickbait. He didn't diss him. He was just listening to music, reciting lyrics. Man, hey, anybody who ain't slow, know what this man was doing. So listen. Boy, the way y'all pay, 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 the way y'all pay,
Man on video, I've been listening to Shorty, y'all. Keep that head, I've been listening to Shorty. Oh, since the straight. They put my dirt in and get the mother. I came along with I'm not just anybody. Cut your friends, I don't see anybody. When we on location. Hold on the house in the air, tell them to put that shit in rotation. Tell them to put that shit in rotation. Good morning. Get my whole gang to send the put my shit way back if I say this. Y'all can't tell me y'all didn't hear him sneak this in his man. Ride the wave, surfboard the wave. He utilized that song to say that J Hood was riding a wave, building his brand off of, you know, basically talking about them and you know trying to associate himself into the situation but i mean that's a part of him too y'all y'all come from his block that's a part of something he grew up around he also said you know that little that little bitty fan base y'all got something like that hold on we we gonna get to that but the calling the man 12 you know saying i gave my gang permission to push my stuff back if i ever snitch you know calling that man a snitch and whatever because he's speaking on situations that happen in the hood but all he doing is speaking on situations that are old and are already public. And that's what I don't get up, get about you boys on this internet, man. Y'all get on here and say people incite stuff or they the middleman or they ratting on people or whatever. Yeah, there are a lot of channels who rat on people who try to solve cases. But this one right here ain't one of them. His ain't either. The only thing he speaks on is stuff that these dudes put on the internet. You put it on the internet now it's public information. You know what I'm saying? But hold up, we gonna get right back to that. I'm gonna show y'all this other little shakety he put under a picture of him and Dirk. And then, uh, yeah, man, we gonna come back to everything else. Hold on. All right, these are the pics right here of Boss Top, you know, and uh, Dirk pretty much, you know, the ones that he sent the little shakety and whatnot under. And I wanted to show that to show y'all. Y'all see Smirk right there at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much liking it. Letting it be known that he stamps what boss top is saying you know what i'm saying and uh they ain't really you know rocking with dude now he says you dudes can't beat us at nothing not dressing spitting the fur of this money hoes jury nothing y'all boys second to last with the mad emoji sufferers can't ride that little ass wave with the wave hashtag otf we run the world hashtag gbg stretch gang all that now how you know he was talking about him he basically called him a bum and said, you know, can't nobody ride that wave, that little ass wave that you got going on on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You want to be us, you want to beat us, but you can't beat us. That's basically what the man trying to say overall. And that's how you know it's a sneak diss at J Hood. You know what I'm saying? And then when he doubled back and got on live playing the song, that just clarified what he had going on. He already had the playlist down that he wanted to play to send that shiggity but try to sneak it in there, you feel me? Then he also went on to say, you gonna lose like that with the salute and emoji. Worst thing you can be is a friend or family that's low key praying on my downfall or with inner intentions. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear that? The worst thing you can be is a friend or family that's low key praying on my downfall or with inner intentions. Like we said, Jay Hood knows him personally. They from the same block. They rep the same thing at one point. You know, they from the same area. So that's definitely directed at him. Y'all got to pay attention. Pay attention to this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand that that man, Boss Top, is a very, very prideful man. Anything that is said to him, he is going to respond. His ego is always big. It's, it's highly big. You know, for anybody to put a boss in front of their name, OG in front of their name, and still be so young, that shows you that they have a big ego. They think highly of they self. You know what I'm saying? So he are, yeah, that's, that's, the proof is in the pudding. You feel me? Now, Jay Hood wasn't done. You know, he also went on to say some more things. And I'm going to play that for y'all. But I want y'all to see, man. He definitely was sending some sneak disses at him. I know you be sneak dissing too, Goofy, man. I'm just not going to put it out to the world and make it seem like. Because they so fanned out. If I make a video of making it seem like you worried about me, then they gonna think that, oh, yeah, right, nigga, that nigga worried about me. Come on, man. See, to y'all, I ain't nobody, but to these niggas in that camp, they know. 
it ain't no question that they are worried about him. He knows too much. He knows what went on behind the scenes. And he's not a person that's under Lil Durk's payroll. So they're worried about what he'll put out there. You know what I'm saying? He has the ability to spill the beans on everything. He already told the world that Lil Reese did choke out Lil Durk. That was true. That was facts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows it. And Dirk responded. Y'all remember that video I put out? Dirk responded to it saying, ain't no nigga ever choke me out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga ever did nothing. So that lets you know they watch this channel. They pay attention. They know what's going on with him. Them dudes every day that know what I do. I really duke him out. Him and Top. I'm talking about, look, I'm trying not to, whew, boy, say no that that. But look, go go spam him. Go get in their DMs, Instagram. Which one of them want to do a fight? He aggressively calling them out. And that's how the most high people are. We are warriors. You know what I'm saying? The most high's people are the real warriors. These busters who act like they standing on something, talking about using switches instead of using their hands or, you know, whatever. Always want to take somebody out when they feel like somebody a threat and they can't physically beat him as a man or control anything that he got going on. They want to take you out. They want to knock you off. Those are not warriors. You know what I'm saying? Those are cowards. Look, they not going. They not going to say no. The, the, the top going man. Nobody fighting him. You know what he want to do? Dirk going to say no. He got better things to do. But they all talk so tough. They use you up and leave you hanging. Some people support you because they don't want to look crazy for not supporting you. Pay attention. I'm trying to figure out who he was directing that towards because that was like a real shiggity. You know what I'm saying? Now. That man was speaking some facts, you know. Boss Top don't want to fight him. He already let that be known what he wants to do when it comes to a situation like that. And Dirk definitely don't want to fight him because he don't want to take the chance of actually losing. You feel me? But my thing is, since when has it became cool to say, I'm not fighting you, I'm going to burn you. I don't fight. I don't do no fighting. Like, that, that's how you know the music just controls popular opinion and what people think. That's how you know the music persuades your thinking. It controls everybody's nature and what they are willing to do. Like, it just has this crazy amount of control over people. It is not okay to say that you're not willing to fight another man. You're going to shoot him because you're a coward. That is not okay. There's nothing cool about that. Like, in the early 2000s and even earlier, you got frowned upon for saying that you was going to pop a man when he said he just wanted to fight you. A friendly fight, and we'll shake hands after and leave it all alone. That is crazy, man. That is cowardly. Especially when you're in a position where you're not going to be the one going to pop that man. You're not really facing much time as long as you don't do something to get your whole gang indicted. You don't have to worry about anything. The only thing you're going to do is sit back and uh, mind your business. And a lot of these rappers... Like, they homies go down for stuff and they don't even take care of them. They don't even get them a lawyer. They don't get them a bond. They don't do anything for them. But that man sitting in jail for something that you started. For you feeling like, hey, I'm not going to fight that man. Hey, hey, look, homie, go go do this. Allegedly. Let me say that. Go sit in this blitz. I'm going to send this blitz out. You know what I'm saying? Go take him. Go knock him down. You know what I'm saying? Take him out. He want to fight me? Take him out. How cowardly did that sound? You want to fight me? Man, here, take fight these bullets. Cowardness. Cowardness. And these are the alpha males nowadays. They, we know they're not alpha males, but these are the ones that the children, the youth, look at as alpha males because they are the ones promoted on the television as the alpha male. He's an alpha male because he'll pop anybody. No, he a buster. Because as soon as he pops somebody, he got to go stand behind jail. And if he don't got the money to pay them killers in there, guess what's finna happen? They finna eat him alive. He being fed to the wolves. So you better know how to fight. And it's like I was saying in the TG Commas video where Baby Joe does TG Commas. Y'all better, if you can't fight, get some boxing lessons. Go take some boxing. Learn how to throw that one-two. Learn how to throw that combination. Learn how to really throw a punch. That way you ain't got to be so much of a coward anytime somebody call you out. You know how to stand on that business. This is cowardly. We do not applaud this. You know what I'm saying? So if if uh, if they don't come back with a response because we know they seen it, if they don't come back with a response and say that, you know, they'll get out with them at least, like, even if you not, you know, put it out there that you will. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're too coward to follow up on it, put it out there that you will. That's all I'm saying. If they don't do this, we got to hold them accountable for that. And that goes for all rappers. 
Y'all got to be held accountable for it. Shying away from actual what y'all say y'all about. Y'all say y'all with that. Y'all say y'all violent. When it comes to a gangster, a gangster fight first. I don't care what y'all say. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might have distorted the rules, but at the end of the day, this is the day and age where gangsters really should be scrapping first. The technology is so lethal. The technology is whooping us so badly that this is the day and age where you should be doing it. You know what I'm saying? You clap somebody down, they can easily find you. They are getting people just off of cell phone towers, binging and stuff like that, man. They are getting you off of the fact that cameras are everywhere and they smart cameras. Real men, they gonna catch a fade. I, I don't accept none of that bustings. Like, even when my homies tell me, like, we ain't, I ain't doing no fighting. You know what I'm saying? I remember my brother said that one time, like, you know, I'm too old to be fighting. Like, nah, bro, this is what we do. You know, this is how we was raised. You know what I'm saying? This is how we was raised from birth. Came out the womb. You feel me? We scrapping with each other. Scrapping with our cousins. We did that multiple times a day. Had homies come to the house just to scrap with them. We putting on the gloves. Hey, we bored, man. Let's go get it in the backyard. Hey, put the gloves on. Let's go get it in the backyard. We gonna scrap. If you, that's, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's a man. That's in our nature. That's in our nature. You know, you start off wrestling, play fighting, chest locking, doing all that. That's in our nature. So what is wrong with these men that it is not in their nature? What is wrong with them? I'm not understanding it. You feel me? Like, I, I just cannot overall get it. And like I said, I was going to come back to this. The bloggers who just present what these people are saying online are not the rats. The ones who are saying it are the ones you have to bring into question. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't get that, man. Like, overall, I, I just don't get it. If you don't want it out there in the world, don't put it on the internet. If I don't want to, I'm not going to tell y'all about what I did in my past. The real dirt, I'm not going to incriminate myself because I don't want it to be out there in the world and I don't want to get locked away for it. You feel me? Like, you, if you don't want to get locked away for something, you're going to keep that secret inside. And that's just what it is, man. Don't blame somebody who reposted what you said. Don't blame somebody who caught what you said then spoke about it and basically said, like, man, this is dumb, man. Hey, y'all got to stop this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That just don't make no sense to me, man. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this entire situation. Man, hey... Peace and blessings, man. You know, protect that man, Jay Hood, man. We, hey, y'all pray for that man. Make sure that, you know, they don't try to send any cowardly stuff to that man because uh, he just want to catch a fade. And he want to, he want y'all to leave the negativity alone. You feel me? He want y'all to leave all the negative influences alone. He want more people to go to the most high. The same thing we doing over here. We need to go to the most high because that's the only place where real strength is and real men are. Real warriors. You know what I'm saying? And I guarantee you at the end of the day, Jay Hood ain't scared to die about anything that he's saying. And that's the same way we feel over here. We ready to die about every word we put online to save y'all souls. You feel me? To get y'all back to the most high. Because that's who is important. That is what is important. That is the only thing that's important in this world. Not no money. Not no jewelry. Not no cars. Not no clothes. Not no women. Not none of that. The only thing that is important in this world is making sure that you're right with the most high. And if you're not, you need to correct that. Stop worrying about all the rest of the extras because what's important is that. So all praise be to the most high. And y'all already know, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon. Drop a share. That way this channel can grow. And peace and blessings, kings and queens. I'm out. Believe it up.